Hi there, in this video we are comparing the Mungio Gallery soft oil pastels and the Paul Rubin oil pastels. Hey everyone, how are you? I hope you're all having an amazing and creative day. My name is Romy and I have a slight obsession for art supplies and art in general. So if you are new, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see more videos about that. So a medium that I have really been enjoying a lot are oil pastels and I got this uh, 248 set uh, by Mungio and Paul Rubens and I was really curious about um, well testing them and comparing them uh, by using different techniques so that's what we are doing today First I decided to test the application experience and the coverage of them and well I think the application is quite different while the Mungios are creamier but harder as well they have quite a smooth application the Paul Rubens are softer and have a more sticky sort of application um, as for the opaqueness it really depends the colors are not so consistent and really here as you can see um, the gallery's yellow is a bit more opaque whereas the orange and the white well the winner would probably be the Paul Rubens pastels Next, I wanted to see how well these blended, um, so I went for a color wheel uh, gradient, um, which was perfect for the colors I chose, uh, which were mostly primaries. I um, also uh, went for these because I had them the exact same color in both sets they were called the same as well like lemon yellow and prussian blue and uh, cobalt blue vermilion so they were perfect for this i think that the mungio color wheel was a lot easier to achieve they blended um, smoothly and uh, quite easily um, even if they did release a bit of residue with the paul rubens i had to work a bit more um, guys, I probably should have said this before, but uh, I apologize for my voice. I have a bit of uh, a cold here, so sorry for that. Anyways, I was saying um, the Paul Rubens were a bit harder to blend because of their softness. They go down in sort of a thicker layer. So um, yeah, it was a little bit harder harder to achieve a smooth gradient but I did notice while doing this exercise that they seem also to be slightly brighter and a bit more pigmented you can see especially in the green area how the colors are a bit richer than the mungios and I don't know if it's because of the layer or because of the pigments themselves The third technique I tested was layering and um, the Mungyo as I already experienced by using them they really layer beautifully um, I do think though on a bit of a negative uh, note that the white 
is not so um, great for highlights if you um, need it to be really white it, it blends in a bit too much so in that I do prefer the Paul Ruben um, which is uh, extremely opaque and layers really good on top of the colors um, but the layering in general with the Paul Rubens is less uh, smooth and more textured and um, you can risk more of the mudding up of everything if you um, if you go over three layers um, let's say it's a bit of a stretch there this is not a problem with the mungios Another fun and interesting technique you can do with oil pastos is the impasto technique. So I tried this and it did not really go as I expected. As far as the mungayo, um, they did behave as I thought they would in that they create a bit of texture but not really that much um, at least uh, just uh, stippling it on on the paper they wouldn't really um, give you any three-dimensional um, texture i was expecting the paul rubens to do very well but i did seem to have a problem with the red pasto for some reason um, it wouldn't really leave marks on the layer uh, beneath so that was weird but i did notice um, as soon as um, i was doing the swatch sheets for the set that uh, there is a bit of a consistency problem with these pastels and by that I mean that not every color behaves or feels the same on paper. Some are stickier than the other and they are just different for some reason. Anyway, I used the blue pastel and with that one I was able to obtain a lot and I mean a lot of texture it practically melted on the paper and left uh, chunks of pastels on the layer below and yeah i think that with the mungio maybe you could achieve that with a palette knife or something i'm not sure i should have probably tried but yeah i didn't so um these are the results of the test i did um with uh, different techniques uh, next i decided i would also try and use these with the oil mediums i had on hand and so that is what we are doing i tried rectified turpentine first and um, I painted sort of some nectarines. Uh, it was the first thing that came to mind that wouldn't require me to go and take some other pastels out of the box. I'm lazy like that. But keep in mind, I spent uh, just one minute on them, really. And uh, I was not really going for something beautiful or pretty or even well made i just wanted to see how the pastels would react to this medium and i have to say i really like the effect and the look of it uh, with both of uh, the brands of pastels really i would probably use this technique a lot if it wasn't for the horrible smell of turpentine which really feels toxic to me so i know that in the united states you have a product called zestit i think that it's made with uh, oranges or lemons or something and it's a really nice uh, good smelling product that unfortunately i was not really able to find over here so if you do know of some uh, good alternatives to turpentine please let me know in the comment i you would really 
give, do me a big favor. And uh, yes, next I had some linseed oil. I made the shape of some peppers. Again, I was trying to use the colors I had and was not really attempting to do real peppers. So again, please don't judge me for these. Anyway, the oil seemed to work fine with the Mungayo and um, not at all with the Paul Rubens for some reason. Um, it didn't really seem to dissolve or blend the pastels at all. It was doing something, I mean, but really not that much. I don't know, I didn't really like the effect of it. After testing them out and even if I really love and enjoy using both of these sets, if I had to choose one, I would probably go with the Mungayo set uh, first because they are more predictable and consistent and uh, secondly because I also think that I, they are cheaper in most country than the Paul Rubens. Um, I would probably get this set and maybe the um, set of white pastels uh, of the Paul Rubens that you cannot get with the Mungayo. You cannot buy only the white pastel as far as I know and even if you could I would probably choose the Paul Rubens white. And yeah, next I'm including some shots of the color swatch sheets of both sets so you can see the difference between the color ranges and um, here the only difference i would say is that you probably get more yellows in the Paul Rubens set and you get more greens in the Mungayo set but that's basically it and well, that's it for today's video. I hope you did find it helpful and enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. It really helps my channel out. And uh, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel for more art related video. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye.